It's a very strange process to see your parents change from being the leaders of the family for them then to start getting old. Probably didn't realise we were carers really, apart from the obvious of moving in with mum and dad um, probably 10 years ago now, um, with the idea that we'll look after them um, before, you know, in the long term. We've come from a generation of families really where um, we live one side of the house and then the older generation lives the other side and you know, they see through to their dying days almost in, in the home. Um, so I suppose we're a up and down carer as such. We suddenly realised that um, our eldest had um, additional needs. He was diagnosed with um, ASD and ADHD two Christmases ago. Um, so, what came with that, I suppose, is that you now have a disabled child, um, which is a title in itself, really, to get your head around. I think probably the whole diagnosis process is quite traumatic. Um, it's very deficit-based. So, you know, the first, the first option of being diagnosed with autism for a child is for you, for parents to go to parenting class. <laughs> how, how does that work out kind of thing? So instantly you're labelled as a carer for not doing your job. Creddy probably came in at a really good time where we were definitely at crisis. Um, we were just really, really struggling. Um, and I think probably what really helped was that they came with practical advice. Um, also through the diagnosis process um, for my son, um, I didn't see anything different with him. Um, and I think part of that was because his struggles were my struggles. Um, it's quite common now, now you can see that there's a lot of um, women in their 40s um, also getting their own diagnosis. Um, so I have a diagnosis of ADHD and on a pathway for being diagnosed for autism, um, which also brings its own struggles as a carer. You don't want to say I'm struggling here you shouldn't have to say I'm struggling here um, and it shouldn't get to crisis. Every disability is different and every family's need is different um, and Creddy recognise that and appreciate it as well. I'd probably say the only support group that has helped us is Creddy with that practical approach, even just having an ear to talk to really.